morning. Uh, I'm today going to talk, uh, I'm going to talk about written communication, something that we do day in, day out. I'm Simrat. <laughs> I work with Infosys. I'm a learning development professional. Uh, we, I do training for mid-level employees. I did two and a half year training for fresh graduates who join the corporate sector. And now I'm doing mid-level uh, training engagements. My niche areas are communication, presentation skills, email writing, etc. My presentation today, we're going to talk about, let's say, for one and a half hours. And um, I'm going to cover written communication as far, uh, with respect to basics of written communication and email. Yeah. Now, uh, very interesting. Why do you think I've brought email writing today? I could have done essays. I could have done uh, uh, something this else. This is what we are doing in day-to-day -day life. In offices also, we mm -hmm. are using email emails. Email. Right, right, right. Interesting. Anyone else? Any other thoughts on why emails? Today's utmost need. Today's utmost need. Fastest means of communication. Fastest means of communication, yes. And uh, just like you said, the times are changing uh, regularly. Earlier we used to write letters. Saving yeah. of time. Saving of time, yes. And now we write emails. So exactly, this is exactly why I've brought an email today. Um, for the last three and a half years that I've been working, we've realized that uh, for, for the sessions, apart from the sessions that we do, we only write emails and keep receiving emails. That's, that's the major chunk that we do. Yeah. So uh, this is why I'm going to talk about fundamentals of writing and take it forward to email writing. And that, that after that, we will kind of close it. Yeah. So let's uh, begin. Let's move further. So like I said, we will talk about my session today is divided into two parts. I'll be doing uh, hallmarks of writing, which is fundamentals, and I'll be doing email. Yeah? Let's begin with the first one, hallmarks of writing. Um, very, uh, I would say precisely, I'm going to talk about three things only. Yeah? If we remember these three things, we are somewhere uh, niche writers or good writers. Now when I say writers, I do not mean writing novels or autobiographies. I mean writing my thought such that people understand what I'm trying to say and I can communicate with them. Yeah. Uh, so three things that I'm going to talk about. A, B, C. Aaj tak A, B, C kya suna tha? A for Apple? Okay. And how many drive cars here? So A, B, C in cars is what? Accelerator brake clutch. Mm. Yeah. Now for writing I'm going to give you A, B, C. Forget Apple, forget Accelerator. A for accuracy, B for brevity, and C for clarity. What are these things? We'll find out. So I'm going to start with accuracy first. A for accuracy. So if you can see A, B, C right up on the screen, it is the hallmarks of writing. So I'm going to talk about fundamentals of writing and email writing today. And I'm going to give you only three things, everyone. A, B, C for hallmarks. A for accuracy. B for <coughs> brevity. C for clarity. So A for apple abhi bhool jate. Let us come to A for accuracy. Now, let me focus on A for accuracy. Where, where do you, before I get into the, the, the slide, I would like to know, what do you think accuracy will be as far as written communication is concerned? Regarding spellings. Regarding spelling, okay. Grammar. Grammar. What else? Correctness. Correctness, okay. Um, all right, I'll add it here. Sharpness. So what do we mean by sharpness, sir? Sharpness of the thoughts which we want to convey. Okay, so can I call it brevity? Do you mean, uh, so what is... Ambiguity. Ambiguity means uh, words having more than one meaning. Right. That means sharpness means you should use the words having Okay, exact single meaning. meaning. All right. Exact so that's what you mean. Exact meaning. exact meaning. So that's what you mean by sharpness here. Okay, I'll take that. Sharpness. Anyone, any, anything else? Factual. factual. So what do we mean by factual? Based on facts. Based on facts. So a lot of data in your writing. Okay. Okay. 
anything else that can come in? Uh, what do you think accuracy can I have? Precision. What do I mean by precision? More precise. Can I cover that in brevity? Yeah. Brevity means, uh, so brevity as a word means something which is very brief and crisp and clear. Yeah. So, so can I talk about uh, preciseness and brevity? All right. What else? Anything else that comes in here? Stress on the main content of your writing. So main content. Um, okay. All right. Shall we check, an act, check, check a statement here? Look at this. So my main focus would be avoid ambiguous phrases and words. Yeah. Now when I talk about all these things, they all contribute to making your writing ambi ambiguous, uh, unambiguous if I may say. Yeah. Uh, I'll take it one by one. How do you think grammar would help you? Any factors in grammar that would help you to make your writing uh, unambiguous? What part of grammar? Tenses, punctuation, brilliant. Okay, so we have tenses, punctuation, what else? Prepositions, okay. Anything else in written? All right, look at this, look at the, the sentence. Of course, I'll, I'm not going to talk about grammar totally, but yeah, I will just kind of touch upon uh, all these things in a, in a very brief manner. Check the sentence, everyone. Rohit played Macbeth as well as Othello. Read the sentence. Can you all see at the back? Yeah. What do you, what do you understand from the sentence? He played the characters of Macbeth as Okay, so he played the characters of Macbeth and Othello. That's what you mean? Okay. Any other meaning of this? He may be the Rohit played with. He is the name of the name. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I will not take that meaning yeah. because uh, we know Macbeth and Othello are Shakespeare plays, right? So we'll take it from there. Okay. Any other meaning that you get? So one meaning is he played both the characters. Any other meaning? Think, think. Can you statement ambiguous here? Why? So he played. By that I mean he enacted. Yeah. So so that's that's okay. What else? Why do you think it's ambiguous? So one meaning I get from her is uh, Monica helped me know this and that. Othello and Macbeth. <laughs> Some similarity. What kind of similarity? So, dono Shakespeare plays, hain. yes? Yes, as well as the cycle of history. And? 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 Okay. But if you have as well as likha hai, to and kyu aana chahiye? Kya aapko galat meaning de raha hai kya? As well as? Ye capability ka show kar raha hai ki same cheez ho play kar sakta hai. Brilliant. So another meaning for this is, thank you, yes. The another meaning for this is, jitna achche se usne Macbeth kiya, utne hi achche se usne Othello kiya, as well as. Can you see that? Yeah. And one meaning is, that usne dono khele, uh, dono uh, kirdar nibhai. Othello, I'm sorry, I've got a little <laughs> poor Hindi, so I might correct myself in between. So Macbeth and Othello, or as good as, Macbeth and Othello. Trying to understand this? Very ambiguous statement. Yeah? Now, how can I improve this? Put a comma. Put a comma where? So, how would that help me? So, then again, two meaning. But, uh, so, if a pause aa jai, then again, two meaning aa jayenge na? As well as the two meaning are hain. One meaning is he played both the plays. Second meaning is that he played this play as good as he played the other play. Okay. 
okay but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not very too sure so you want me to put a comma here that's what you think um, okay comma will yes separate Macbeth and Othello but the meaning of as well as will again confuse us ki writer kehna kya cha raha hai ki isne dono ke dar achche se nibhaye ya ye kehna cha raha hai ki jis, jitne achche se isne Macbeth nibhaya utne hi achche se isne Othello nibhaya we can use and we can use and, and great now when shall I use and so we can use and correct when shall I use and when he has played both. When I want to say that he's played both. Yeah? And when shall I use the other meaning? So if I want to say he played Macbeth as a performance. Performance. So what do you want to use here? Yeah, and ho gaya ki dono ne ke, dono kiye. Othello bhi kiya, Macbeth bhi kiya. When I'm talking about level of performance, then what do I do? How about as good as? Do you think that's better? Yeah? Now good and well are synonymous. They have similar meanings. But if you see, if I use as well as here, it's giving confusion in the mind of the reader. Yeah? So meaning one of the sentence, he has enacted in both plays, Macbeth and Othello. Meaning two, he played the role of Macbeth as good as he played Othello. Yeah? Okay. Um, let's look at the second one. Now look, we dispense with accuracy. The sentence is we dispense with accuracy. Now read about this and tell me what meaning do you get from here. Accurate our work. Okay, one meaning that she gets is that we are accurate with our work. Yeah, anyone else? Any other meaning that you think you get from this? Or koi meaning hai iska? Dispenser, pata hai? Kya hota hai? Dispenser? Yeah, just say koi cheese bahar aati hai, right? Uh, even the liquid uh, dispensers, right? Now, when I say we dispense with accuracy, what is dispense? Incomplete sentence. Okay. Sorry? Louder. Administer? Uh, no, not really, not really. Try, try to relate it from the word dispenser. Now, when I say dispenser dash the liquid, dispenser dispenses the liquid. Yeah? Mahabhi dispenses ka matlab? Release. We dispense with accuracy, we do away with accuracy. Two meanings. We do, yeah, we do not do or we do not deliver with accuracy would be one meaning. Dispense, chordia. Dispense, like you said, we work with accuracy. So two, same sentence, opposite meaning totally. Now if I mail this to a client, so the client ne mujhe kuch pucha, mene bola yes, hum aake training kar denge. Don't worry, we dispense with accuracy. Now the client, if he's if if she's Monica, she would say, okay, these guys will work with accuracy, great. And if it's someone else. He might say, oh my God, I'm not going to sign the contract with them. They do not work with accuracy. Trying to see a double meaning here? Yeah. Now, this is what I mean by ambiguous words or phrases. I would like to pause here and I want you to kind of think as to, can you think of your writing and relate? Kya main ambiguous words or phrases apne writing mein use karta hoon or karti hoon? If yes, can I modify those words? Yeah. Now here, today I am not going to talk about uh, concepts. So this is a concept, yes. But I am not going to limit my presentation to a concept. Aap Google karoge, aapko ye mil jayega. Aap grammar ka book padoge, aapko ye mil jayega. What am I here to do? I am here to talk about how can we stop ourselves from using ambiguous statement. Yeah. I, uh, I don't try to uh, limit my sessions to only concepts. I like to know, talk and discuss and figure out ways of how we can fix this. Hum sab likhte ambiguous. Even though I'm talking about written communication, there'll be times where my emails will be ambiguous. People have come back to me to ask me, Simrat, can you explain what you wrote? Jatki mene bahut proofread bhi kiya tha. But things happen because we are humans. Yeah? So the point is, let us be aware of how we can stop ourselves from, you know, this, this ambiguity in our writing. 
what can we do what can you do to to forget ambiguity anything that you can take care of when you write go ahead use try to use words which have single meaning okay a word like uh, what do i say run ran off run to run in like you said proverbial the prepositions will change meaning so that if i say yes this is one correct way of you know using words with single meaning that will become difficult you know in our writing because the words one word itself will have 10 different meanings the way it is used yeah so yes we can try but i will not want you to limit yourself to okay simrat ne bola tha nahi ek hi meaning wala word use karna hai to main ye word nahi use karungi yeah so don't limit yourself but yes we can try that anything else that we can do to avoid ambiguity simplicity. sorry simplicity simplicity what do you mean by that true bahut zyada ornamented language nahi honi chahiye also i would like to say it depends on your audience now if i'm writing to someone who i know is an expert in the language or expects me to write an ornamental language i will do a uh, dictionary check and i'll bring out all difficult words that i can in my writing so that i can impress that person yeah if i know my audience is someone like me who understands simple and clear english or even hindi for that matter i will not ornament it trying to understand yeah so uh, i would just like to say it depends on your audience at the end of the day i should know whom am i writing to if i know that i will take care of these things yeah also anything else all right so one tip is what you've given as to uh, use simple language don't ornament uh, another thing that she said is try to use words which have exact meaning i would i would just modify your sentence from single meaning i'll make it an exact meaning yeah anything else that we can do yeah Absolutely, absolutely. So do your own review. Review is what we call it, yeah? self-review. Um, there's only one thing here. Review. अपने आप एक बार करो, दो बार करो. Third time, एक friend का review लो. Why? There are times when I read something. Now, just look at the sentence. When I told you, Rohit played Macbeth as well as Othello. Yeah. When Monica said that, um, uh, you know. he played both the plays she could only think from that angle always so if she reviews the sentence uska mind usko ek hi meaning dega which is and trying to understand so do a self review great do one two but don't limit yourself to only yourself i still send my emails uh, of course not confidential ones but i share my emails that i can with my friend in i am ranchi she helps me review my email still date we both were together in my sorry used to work together but she left infosys and now she is doing her mba um and i still send her my emails that i can to ask her okay quickly tell me i'll call her up and i'll say okay i've sent you an email usko padho aur dekho koi tone ya kuch written mein koi problem to nahi hai quickly and she tells me in half an hour and then i send my email clearly <coughs> self review peer review peer review peers your friends or your colleagues that's the best review that anyone can give you and always take them take it from people who are uh, who are your friends they'll give you actually galat likha hai na theek karo usko critical critique is the best uh, review yeah all right so three things that we learned today what will we do with ambiguity one what will we do you simple simple language okay what else get your self reviews so a uh, self review and a peer review okay what else last thing audience sorry audience careful about the audience so ye sab cheeze aapki agar so so i in written even in your oral communication your presentation your uh, report writing audience is my bap you know why if i am able to touch my audience with my writing even the kind of phrases that i use in my writing will depend on my audience so if i think about my audience first i can plug in all these things very carefully but if i don't talk about my audience at all and i say chalo bhai dekha jayega samajh aayega theek hai nahi aayega to nahi so jisko to samajh aaya wo pad lega jisko nahi aayega wo bolega ye kitab achhi nahi hai koi aur author padhenge why are we very close to authors 
So who all read? I want a clear show of hands. How many of us read here? One, two, three. Great. Favorite authors. Who favorite? Kyu hai? Socho. Why do you relate to them? Why do you relate? Unko kaise pata wo aapko relate karenge? Wo aapko jante hain? They are writing about common experiences. Okay. Alignment of the thoughts. Alignment of the thoughts. So aapko kya lagta hai? Writer sabse pehle kya sochta hai likhne se pehle? Apna dimag ki audience ka dimag. Audience. Audience. Writer audience. Audience ko dekhenge, right? So let us start thinking about audiences whenever we write, whenever we do something, so that ambiguity, usage of. आपका decision of using a simple language or an ornamental language will come from your audience. Yeah. Now Chetan Bhagat said, I want to target common person. So he wrote a very simple language. ऐसा नहीं है कि उसको English नहीं आती है. ऐसा नहीं है उसको ornamental language नहीं आता है. आता है. He's an MBA. He's an IIT. आता होगा. But he still chose to use simple language because he wanted to connect with common person, college students. His first motive of Chetan Bhagat was, someone who does not read at all, I want that person to read my novel. He cleared it. Yeah, everyone reads him now. So, so the point that I'm trying to drive here is audience, keeping them on on the head always. And of course, the first thing that we do is avoid ambiguous words and phrases. Yeah. Now, these are three things that we can do. Like you said, self review, peer review, uh, using simple language, trying to know different meanings. आप एक word use करते हैं ran or run r u n. तो उसके साथ phrases या prepositions लगा के देखो या पढ़ो एक बार कि उसके मतलब क्या हैं. जो आप कहना चाहते हो वही मतलब आ रहा है और यू नो इज इट समथिंग कंफ्यूजिंग या ऑल राइट ग्रेट नाउ लेट अस गो फर्दर एनीथिंग एल्स दैट आई कैन डू टू अवॉइड एम्बिग्विटी आई एम गोइंग टू टच अपॉन ग्रामर नाउ एनीथिंग एल्स इन ग्रामर दैट यू थिंक आई कैन डू टू अवॉइड एम्बिग्विटी Punctuation, great, yes. एक exercise करें सब, हाँ? I'll give you a phrase. आप वो phrase को समझ के देखो. So it's not a phrase. It's it's just a group of words. Yeah. Um, I'll give you an ambiguous sentence, and see if you can drive a meaning out of it. Yeah. And let us do in pairs. So I want two people to get together and do this activity. That's what we will try to know each other. Sir, can you please come to this chair? Great. Thank you. So you both can uh, talk. Uh, okay, you are three in this table, so you can work on three of them. Both of you, dad and daughter. Okay, so two ladies here, both of you here, and two pairs here. Great. Okay, so let us do that. नहीं अभी शुरू नहीं करना है रुको ओके ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स टू यू अपने टीम में एक साथ हो जाओ एंड आई वॉन्ट अ मीनिंग आउट ऑफ दिस I want a meaning out of this group of words. They are very confusing words to me right now. I want you to give me a meaning out of this. By placing the words or having them in the same order. Words yehi hain. Isko change nahi karna hai. Upar niche nahi karna hai. Jumble game nahi khelenge ham. Mujhe nahi pata. Ye ambiguous hai. Isme se agar koi matlab nikal sakta hai to nikalo. Sentence. Do not. Yes, you can make a sentence. So I want you to do it in groups, please, together. मुझे ग्रुप देखना आई वॉन्ट टू सी द ग्रुप सर आई वॉन्ट यू टू कम ऑन दिस चेयर प्लीज या बोथ ऑफ यू थ्री ऑफ यू प्लेस नहीं चेंज करेंगे हम लोग खाली इन uh, वर्ड्स को देखेंगे कि मीनिंग आ सकता है कि नहीं ओके okay, हिंट दे देती हूँ यहाँ पे पंक्चुएशन ही काम आएगी सर पंक्चुएट करके इसका मीनिंग निकाल दो लेट मी सी कहाँ पहुँचे सर हम? Is is not not is question mark is 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 not is not यहाँ पे एक गड़बड़ है इसको ठीक कर दो question mark नहीं आएगा नहीं full stop नहीं आएगा question mark नहीं आएगा ये पता है 
अब ये देखिए क्या आएगा ये पूरा एक सेंटेंस दिस इज वन सेंटेंस गाइस दिस इज वन सेंटेंस या सो वील सी दंसर राइट ऑन द बोर्ड आई टेल यू हाउ दंसर इज यस ना लुक एट दैट एवरी वन उसी में कर दो आप पंक्चुएट कर दो उसमें Bang on, yes. Um, so forget that. Yeah, great. Thanks. Correct. Is it not question mark? Correct. And one more thing. Comma will come over. Not ke baad. Yahan pe. One comma will come. Correct. Now, um, thank you very much. Now, what do we get from here? What do we understand from here? You know what punctuation does? आप सब मुझे एक question बोल रहे थे. ये sentence सब बोल रहे थे. Is is है है नहीं है. Some everyone was close. But I said without you reading. To me, आप ऐसे लिखो कि मैं इसको पढ़ू ही ऐसे या एंड मेहक कैन आई वी शेड एन एग्जाम्पल आई वॉन्ट एवरी वन आई नो इट्स बिन लॉन्ग बट जस्ट थिंक अबाउट योर स्कूल फॉर वन मोमेंट थिंक अबाउट क्लासेस सिक्स एंड सेवन एंड एट सिक्स सेवन एट में ए बी सी डी नहीं करते थे ओ अच्छा 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 फिर हम लोग थोड़ा हायर क्लास में चले जाते हैं फिर लेट्स लेट्स गो डू ओके लेट्स गो डू अयर क्लास वील गो डू द क्लासेस टेन Okay, classes nine and ten now. Remember that question. Fill in the blanks. Now fill in the blank with are, were, they, and who. ऐसे questions याद हैं? Fill in the blanks with are, were, they, and who. अब अगर क्वेश्चन पेपर पे बिना पंक्चुएशन के ऐसे लिखा होता तो समझ में आता फिल इन द ब्लैंक कौन से वर्ड से करना है अभी आप मुझे ये बताइए मैंने जो आपको बोला फिल इन द ब्लैंक में कौन कौन से वर्ड्स यूज करने हैं हम लोग को आर वर दे हु राइट इसके हाँ अभी इसको पंक्चुएट नहीं किया है जो मैंने बोला उसके हिसाब से एंड उसके हिसाब से चार वर्ड थे आर वर दे एंड हु राइट ना ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड आपको कैसे पता कि विद से नहीं करना है हाउ डू नो विद हियर इज अस इज प्रेपोजिशन एंड नॉट द फिल इन द ब्लैंक वर्ड बिकॉज इन योर क्वेश्चन पेपर दे रोट फिल इन द ब्लैंक विद आर वर दे एंड हु एंड पे भी नहीं किया तभी पता लगा कि एंड नहीं एड करना है फिल इन द ब्लैंक में सो वट इज पंक्चुएशन मैंने बोला आपको समझ में आया वही चीज लिखी आपको समझ में नहीं आई दैट मीन्स जस्ट लाइक वर्ड स्ट्रेस आई स्ट्रेस्ड ऑन आर वर दे दैट्स वाई यू अंडरस्टूड आर वर दे जस्ट लाइक स्ट्रेस ऑफ वर्ड्स और माई पॉजिज आर टू माई स्पीकिंग पंक्चुएशन ब्रिंग्स टोन टू योर राइटिंग रोको मत जाने दो ओ यस आपने ये बहुत अच्छी एक स्टोरी है पंक्चुएशन की लाइफ में ग्रामर की लाइफ में हैंग हिम डोंट हैंग हिम लीव हिम बहुत पुरानी स्टोरी है राजा ने डिक्लेयर uh, कर दिया डोंट हैंग हिम लीव हिम अब जब बोला तो सबको पता लग गया चलो भाई सजा नहीं है टाइप राइटर ने लिखा और भेज दिया कैसे लिखा सॉरी इट वॉज नॉट डोंट इट वॉज हैंग हिम नॉट या अब कॉमा का इधर उधर है जो राजा ने बोला था ही सेड हैंग हिम नॉट लीव हिम Everyone clapped. Yeah, he is free. But the person who was supposed to punish him, who was supposed, जिसके पास वो जाना था punishment का letter, typewriter ने यहाँ पे comma की जगह यहाँ डाला. 
क्या हुआ उसका ही वॉज हैंग्ड दिस इज अ लाइफ स्टोरी ऑफ पंक्चुएशन इज अ हिस्ट्री ऑफ पंक्चुएशन सो जस्ट लाइक माई एक्सप्रेशन विल बी टू माई स्पीकिंग पंक्चुएशन इज टोन टू माई राइटिंग या If I want to give, uh, want people to understand my what I'm saying, I have to punctuate my letters, my uh, sentences such way that they read the same manner. मैंने is not is not मेरे दिमाग में था. I knew. Okay, is is not is is not not is 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 not is not is it not? But did you all understand it right that way? No, because I did not write it that way. I did not punctuate it at at all for you to read it properly. Now here again. I have to be audience oriented. Punctuate करूँ ताकि आपको समझ में आए अगर मैं पहले ही सेंटेंस ऐसे लिखती is is not not, is 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 not is not, is it not, आपको तब समझ में आता If I would have written it like this, you would have understood, right? Same thing. Punctuation is tone to my writing. Start using punctuations in your uh, sentences. I'm not going to go into uh, different punctuation marks. There's only one mark. punctuation style that i want to talk about which is apostrophe lot of people use apostrophe very wrongly and that's why i want to talk about uh, apostrophe isme actually bahut se cover ho gaye hain look at that question mark uh, when you were putting that exclamation mark i told you not to do that because this is a question so i have to end it with a question mark told that question mark is not allowed sorry kisi ne bola tha question mark nahi lagana aapne inko bola tha question mark nahi lagana wo question mark yahan laga rahe the उसका ये मतलब नहीं है क्वेश्चन मार्क वहां नहीं लगाना है क्या सो ग्रामर ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड लॉ ऑफ मार्क्स तो यही कवर हो जाएंगे अभी ये, आप मुझे ये बताइए बिफोर आई गेट इनटू टू पोस्ट ट्रॉफी यहाँ डबल क्यों नहीं आ सकता है सो देर आर टू काइंड्स ऑफ मार्क्स डबल कोटेशन एंड सिंगल कोटेशन राइट वॉट डू आई यूज यूर सिंगल कोटेशन डबल कोटेशन वाई सिंगल इट इज नॉट अबसोल्युटली Speech. When I want to say, Mehak said, I don't understand. इसका मतलब क्या है कि मुझे समझ में नहीं आया कि Mehak को समझ में नहीं आया. Depends upon where I put the inverted commas. Mehak said, comma, double commas begin. I don't understand. So she told me that she doesn't understand. Trying to understand. So मैंने अभी क्या किया? Direct को indirect करके आपको एक meaning दिया है. so double inverted commas will come only when you're quoting what people have said or what you have said single marks will come when you want to group a word or a letter or a name of the song i was listening to koi favorite song bataiye old songs doctor sir please bataiye aapka favorite song yeah, yeah koi bhi old song jaldi tum na jaane okay so i want to say dr deepti das uh, favorite song of dr deepti das is tum na jaane ab yahan pe tum na jaane ko kya karungi single quotes which book do you like to read the alchemist the alchemist so um, full uh, so, so what's your name meenu so meenu was reading the alchemist so what will i do to to the alchemist single quotes so the name of songs the name of movies the name of titles anything which is which you think is a different title macbeth or you want to highlight that single quotes yeah when you want to quote what people have said what the statement that people use double quotes yeah now a question or hai ab look at the sentence i'm going to make me making it a little complex huh so pehla tha mehak said i don't understand so there were double quotes on i don't understand yeah now mehak said um okay mehak said i don't understand because sita said she was confused complex ho gaya na ab ek hi quotation mein so i'm trying to say mehak ne mujhe bola jo sita ne usko bola tha trying to see now bade double quotes to rahenge mehak ke i don't understand mein या yeah? अब सेंटर में जो बीच में आ गया है यानी सीता आ गई है उसका कोट का उस, उसके कोट को क्या करूंगी वहां पे आई यूज सिंगल कोट्स नेस्टेड कोट्स बीच में लगाने हो ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड आई होप इट्स नॉट कंफ्यूजिंग शो ओके दर इज नो येस दर इज नो नो सो आई डोंट नो या आई रिपीट टू टू जस्ट क्लोज दिस मेहक सेड 
इंजीनियरिंग या जो जिन्होंने किया है या लूप्स जिन्होंने पढ़ा है तो नेस्टेड लूप करके एक होता है हाँ सो so, बड़ा ब्रैकेट उसके अंदर छोटा ब्रैकेट एक्सेट्रा राइट सिमिलरली नाउ व्हेन देर इज अ बिग कोट इन विच देर इज अनदर कोटेशन बाय समवन सो देर वाज मेहक हु वाज टॉकिंग बट आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड के बीच में आ गई आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज़ सीता सेड शी डजंट नो नाउ शी डजंट नो इज सीता टोल्ड मेहक कि इसको नहीं आता है और मेहक ने मुझे बोला आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज़ सीता शे सेज आई डोंट आई डोंट नो नाउ इफ आई वांट टू राइट द सेंटेंस for you all to know that sita ne usko bola isliye mehak ne ko samajh mein nahi aaya then single quotes for sita big double quotes for mehak because actual quotation for me is what mehak told me sita beech mein nested ho gaya trying to understand everyone sure very complex grammar yes it is very funny language is english but then we can't help it yeah all we can do is make sure that we use correct punctuations to kind of put it forward yeah now what is this comma doing here this comma pause or a group of letters differentiating between two thoughts that's all yeah colon <coughs> semicolon or a co so i'll talk about colon first little, little pause anything else also two different thoughts totally you know um the class is cancelled the teacher was absent the point is class cancel hua because the teacher was absent now because if i don't want to write because i can put a colon which will link these two as in colon becomes because yeah so that that's how you can use uh we not go very deep into grammar but all i would like to say is if whenever you get free time just read about basic grammar i don't want you to become grammar experts here but basic grammar so that your writing does not get confusing that's all just know in the functions kya hai there are only few punctuation marks उनके बारे में अगर हम जान लें कि ये कहाँ कहाँ क्या यूज़ कर सकते हैं वी आर गुड टू गो एज राइटर्स आई एम नॉट अ राइटर आई कॉन्ट राइट एट ऑल मुझे मेरे काम में बहुत बार मेरे सीनियर्स बोलते हैं एक ब्लॉग लिख दो एक एक्सपीरियंस लिख दो आई सर आई एम नॉट अ राइटर आई कैन टेल यू माई एक्सपीरियंस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू पुट दैट डाउन प्लीज डू दैट सो आई कॉन्ट राइट बट बेसिक ई मेल्स या बेसिक लेटर्स लिखने के लिए इतना ग्रामर बहुत काफ़ी है यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू नो मोर या ओके दिस इज अबाउट इट Regarding a post trophy, I will just like to say two things. Any difference? Possessiveness. Possessiveness. Okay, which side? Left or right? Left side. Huh? Left side. Left side. Okay. So it becomes. It belongs to someone. Okay. Now hold on. Are you sure it's the left side? The belongingness. Or is it the right side? I'm going to give you a sentence. Its color is yellow. Its color is yellow. Which is correct? Left side, right side. Right. But we all say left is possession. क्या हुआ? Now try and understand. This is short form. So two uses of apostrophe: short form and a long uh, short form and possession. Yeah. Now, it expand this. It is color is yellow, which is grammatically incorrect. Yeah. So it is of yellow, yellow color will be correct. And yah pe apostrophe ko maine kya kiya hai? I have used it to contract, shorten. It's used to uh, bring in a very informal tone. It is likhungi to bhot formal lagta hai. You know, uh, Mehak is a student. Mehak is a student. so it's almost like you speak very informal it's more of a spoken language helps you create a very conversational tone in your writing people will wo aapka padhte padhte unko aisa lagega aap unse baat kar rahe hain novels mein normally is tarah likha jata hai yeah come here now only in this case this is possession without an apostrophe baki har jagah apostrophe dal ke hi possession diya jata hai mehak sure, i'm sorry mehak i'm using your name again and again so don't get conscious it's just that I have it in in my mind now. Um, so Mehak's shirt is of pink color. Yeah. So Mehak's shirt will be Mehak apostrophe s. Yeah. Khali its me. Ye ek like I said, English is a funny language. They should have put apostrophe here as well to tell us possession me apostrophe dalte hain. But yahan pe unhone nahi kya. So its khali its i t ke saath apostrophe nahi aata hai to show possession. Otherwise, um, it's a possession. Yeah. 
एंड एनी रूल्स पोस्ट्रोफी एस डालना है कि या पोस्ट ट्रोफी डालना है एनी रूल्स टू दैट यस सो वेन अ वर्ड ना अगर प्रिंसेस हैट इज वाइट सो प्रिंसेस के बाद खाली कॉम आएगा एस नहीं आएगा बिकॉज प्रिंसेस में ऑलरेडी एस है दैट्स ऑल दीज आर फ्यू रूल्स दैट यू टू रिमेंबर टीचर्स डे यस सो डिपेंड्स ऑन वॉट यू सींग टीचर का दिन और टीचर्स का दिन हाँ सो एस एंड अपोस्ट्रोफी करेक्ट या या टीचर्स ट्रेनिंग यस नाउ लास्ट थिंग इन अपोस्ट्रोफी जो आजकल गलत हो रहा है आजकल हर चीज में शॉर्ट फॉर्म हो गया है जैसे सी डी कॉम्पैक्ट डिस्क तो जब मैं बोलती हूँ आई हैव टेन सी डीज एट माई होम नॉर्मली पीपल राइट टेन सी डीज एट माई होम दिस इज रॉन्ग इट शुड बी 10 CDs because I want to say compact discs. Yeah, so this is one correction. PCs, uh, PC, PC is personal computer. So PC, only if I want to say possession, my PC is not working. My PC is not working is correct. But when I say three PCs, I sold three PCs. I sold three personal computers. Just check. आप S क्यों डाल रहे हैं? Plural के लिए डाल रहे हैं या post trophy के लिए डाल रहे हैं? That's all. Yeah. Any questions till now? Whatever we have discussed. Your sincerely. Your sincerely. Yeah. Post trophy or simply is without your sincerely. Okay. Yours is sincerely. Now you are writing yours. Y O U R S. Without. So now you tell me. Every uh, others. How do we write? We don't use. We don't use a post trophy. Why? Because I am yours. So the your का जो usage है यहाँ पे it's like uh, when I say I'm yours, मैं तुम्हारी हूँ. So that is the usage here. Yes. Now why? I, I was about to come to that and close it. Y O U R S apostrophe sincerely. आपकी आभारी. I hope that's the meaning, right? Your sincerely. Yeah, okay. So your Y O U R S apostrophe sincerely, yours abhari, apki abhari. So that's the meaning there. Yeah. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Can I go forward? Too much grammar. Full stop. We're not going to discuss grammar anymore. I'm done. All right. Uh, coming to this accuracy to just close the accuracy part. Avoid ambiguous words and phrases. Lot of things that we uh, studied right now will help you do so. Finally, use grammatically correct sentences. These are two things that you need to remember for A for accuracy. Can I close A for accuracy and move forward to B now? Yeah, done with A. Yes. Everyone. Okay. All right. Let's get into uh, B for brevity. uh don't uh, so so i know it's a very confusing word kiss here but the kiss is as simple as keep it short and simple no other kisses come back only one kiss keep it short and simple yeah and this is what i meant uh, someone said about preci precise i think uh, you mentioned yeah this way uh, so this is where i'll cover precise part because you mentioned it keep it short and simple um how can you do this look at the sentence Okay there are some bullet points and then I'll come to an exercise good writing has to be brief and simple yeah avoid complex terms and phrases similarly like we did uh, ambiguity use familiar words like i said how will you decide these two points based on your audience again yeah so this is what your audience will help you do cut needless words and needless information avoid redundancy of words um jo ye टॉपिक है कट नीडलेस वर्ड्स ओनली नीडलेस वर्ड्स नीडलेस इंफॉर्मेशन इज एक्स्ट्रा इंफॉर्मेशन विच यू डोंट वांट टू गिव नीडलेस वर्ड्स इज अ कॉन्सेप्ट कॉल्ड डेड वुड्स लुक एट दिस रीटा वेंट टू द पार्टी एट ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व मिड नाइट रीटा केम टू द पार्टी
Now see, any needless word here? Why is 12 a needless word? Midnight means 12. Is ko dead wood bolte. Is concept ko dead wood bolte. Where one word is enough for the meaning, but we are adding one more word just, just like that. That is called a dead wood. Yeah. So we can cancel this and we'll see. Or you can cancel midnight, depending upon your choice. Till hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Till 12. Then what will I do to 12 to make it sound midnight? That's noon, 12 a.m. Correct. Once you do that, your sentence is good to go. So midnight, if you want to say it will be 12 a.m. If it's noon, you like to say 12 p.m. फिर कैसे पता चलेगा कि मिडनाइट है? नून या मिडनाइट लिखना। So 12 की जरूरत नहीं है अगर मिडनाइट लिखना है तो क्योंकि मिडनाइट का मतलब ही 12 a.m. है। Night is okay। Right। नहीं 12 के साथ नून लिखना होगा ना दिन में या क्यों नून लिखना? Okay okay hold on। Now noon itself means 12, right? Either you write midnight or noon उसके साथ 12 नहीं आएगा, ठीक है? Now if I want to write 12, let's say I don't want to write midnight. I want to write 12. Now, how will you tell me Rita came in the evening, Raat ke baare majhe hai, Subha ke baare majhe hai? AM. AM or PM, depending upon the context. Yeah? Are we okay? Okay, so 12 is AM for midnight, 12 is PM for noon. Yeah? Aap hamesha 1 PM bolte hai, 1 AM nahi bolte hai. 1 AM hota hai Raat Subha ka, 1 PM is afternoon ka. So, jo noon ka hai, 12 is PM. Midnight ka noon, midnight ka 12 is AM. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Okay, are we okay with dead woods here? Aise dead woods aapko pata hai? Thode se example de sakte hai? I will return your book back to you. So, what is, what is a dead wood here? Back or return? Return. Return itself means back. So, return ke saath back lagane ki zarurat nahi hai. Aise aur batao. Dead woods. Reverse back your car. <laughs> Reverse your car. Return. Revert एक नया term आजकल चला है. Revert. R E V E R T हम लोग emails में बहुत use करते हैं कि please revert to my email. क्या? Language में बोलते हैं. Routine में आप बोल करेंगे. सबसे best है. क्या? सबसे best है. Yes. Right, right. Sorry. Yes, yes, yes. सबसे best है. अब सबसे best तो सबसे ही होगा. ये best है या सबसे Correct, बोल रहे हैं, yes. तो ये dead woods हैं, and ये पता क्यों आते हैं? Because हम लोग we use, we think in our language, vernacular language, which can be Hindi or Punjabi, and we translate that same thought in English. But जो rules grammar में Hindi के हैं, वही rules English में apply नहीं होते हैं. So our grammatically sentence जो English में आता है बाहर, वो गलत आ जाता है कभी-कभी. That's where these problems come in. Yeah? Just be aware of the dead woods and see. Uh, like someone, you, I, I think you mentioned that we have to be precise in our writing. So this is where I talk about. Now, what can you do to make your writing precise? These are few things that you can do to make your writing precise and brief, brief, brief brevity. Yeah, cut needless words. So when you do a review, आप जब self review कर रहे हैं, तो आप देखिए कोई extra word मैंने add किया है जो मैं which I can do away with. If you can dispense with that word, please do that. Yeah, that's one way you can cut needless words. Then you dispense it. Then you dispense it. Oh, okay. All right. I just have this last one word, one exercise here, and then we can break for tea. Check this now. Management has become cognizant of the necessity for the elimination of undesirable vegetation surrounding the periphery of our facility. ये notice अब आपको आया आपको क्या लगेगा? समझ में आया पहली बात? How many of you read read the sentence twice? Oh, you're still reading. Okay, twice. Did you understand? Yeah. Okay. What what do they mean? Right. But in the complex, can we make it simple? आप एक sentence दिखाऊँ मैं आपको इसका? 
with brevity if i do simple language and if i use cut needless words which are management and all please remove the weeds around the building regards management ab agar ye main gardener ko dungi jisko kaam karna hai actually ye jayega ya ye jayega samajh mein usko kaun sa aayega right so try to use simple uh, we don't have to ornament the language just for the sake of it of course it depends on your audience if i'm writing this as a government uh, authority letter i might use this yeah right but that will only go to higher officials it will not go to junior levels junior levels jab instruction aata hai wo ye bolte hai mujhe bahar ghas phoos se please kaat dena wo ye nahi padhenge uske liye yeah so try to uh, be as simple as you can of course if your audience is someone who wants to wants you to ornament your language you can use the above part yeah finally to close brevity this is what i have to give away if you want to take a note of this these uh, tips this tick marks you can please do that uh, before i go further to the c part are we are we somewhere on the same page of a and b yeah let's quickly recap what was a accuracy, accuracy. what was b accuracy. for accuracy what do i do depends on audience okay so what 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 will audience tell me what to do simple words okay what else grammatically correct bang on what else accuracy self review okay uh sorry abundance abundance of words so then brevity bolta hai kam words karo ambiguity is what you meant okay so non ambiguity or unambiguity in your writing yeah remember that as well as part example macbeth and othello then yaad rahega yeah okay let's get into c now <coughs> now c is clarity i might use um he played macbeth and othello so this is non ambiguous sentence so a ho gaya brief sentence brevity hai keep it short and simple now c clear hai ki nahi hai depends so what is clear what is what is c what do you think clarity is reading reaching the minds of the people okay how would i do that so brevity done that means c ki zarurat hai yahan pe ki nahi hai except meaning to the point to the point full information correct to the point is b brevity non ambiguous mein a bhi aa gaya but complete information hona chahiye now this is where i cover the concept of what uh, i think uh, singla sir said that you know we don't have to um, cut needless words just for the sake of it i have to give my complete information with brief words with non ambiguous phrases or words yeah and this is where i cover the c part which is called um clarity now i'm going to cover seven c's of writing now before i do this i just want you to, to touch upon one grammar part remember apostrophe yahan pe seven c's hai c apostrophe aayega c s aayega c s ki aayega c s kyun aayega kyunki main saat c ki baat kar rahi hu seven c's so seven c's c1 c2 c3 so plural Yeah, that that's about it. So just recapping your grammar here. Okay, seven C's. Have you ever heard about this phrase? Seven C. Five C's. Tell me which one. Leaving the last three or two. Last two. Now, why do we say seven C's? Great. Yes, five C's. We talk about at a level where. When did you read this five C, Meg? in your second semester okay now when we deal with college students or jaise bolte hai na ki level of uh, writing badhta rehta hai level of grammar badhta rehta hai now what uh, people will do in msc english or english honors i will not do in my class 10 for english i will do a basic now these two comes in with when you start uh, like i said level of writing when it increases yeah uh, these c's two c's last two c's are important for us for people who are working because we need to deal with lot of credibility and we need to deal with lot of senior people as well 
Yeah, that's where these C's have come. I'll talk about what these C's are. All these are technical terms to writing. Yeah, but if you look at it, all these uh, or one C or two C, three C, कोई ना कोई कोई ना कोई C आप इसमें इसमें से अपने आप करते हैं. Yeah, it's just a technical name, uh, an abbreviation that we can remember. If we start using seven C's in our writing, it will become very authentic. Yeah, let's revisit all of them uh, one by one. First one, clear. What do you think clear is? So, which part of C? Why do we say C clear has to be in your information? Main object of the writing. Main objective of writing. Okay, which should be clear. So the person should know why you're writing to him. Okay, what is concise? Brief and short. So I will take brevity from here. Okay, your concise is actually brevity. Okay, all right. What is correct? Okay, I'm going to pick up uh, grammatically correct. I'm A me kar chuke hain, so I'm going to pick up factually correct, and that's why I paused uh, this data point here. I did not discuss it at all because I knew I was coming uh, to this part. Okay, so factual, your data has to be totally correct, and that is with correct of C here. Yeah, are we okay? So when you say correct, you would know it has to be factually and grammatically correct. Yes, but grammar accuracy is handling it. So there's a difference between accuracy and correctness. This, when I say correct here, I mean correct information. Accuracy, I mean accurate, correct grammar. Difference clear, ho gaya? Everyone, what is the complete part? C for complete. I'm on the fourth. Complete information, correct. So, give a minimum chance to people to come back to you with questions. It's good that they have questions. That means they want to work with you. But your information, simple question like, um, so I'll give you an example. The other day, Manas and I were working on something and we got an email. Uh, please do this. Now, in email, we do email, we don't know when we do it, when we do it. So, I put a mail dala. Uske pe reply kiya. All right, so when do you want this to be done? Please do this at 2 o'clock today. Wo ek baje mail aaya tha. Toh laga, arre baapre, 2 baje ye karna hai. So we wasted 15 minutes in the mail coming to me. Right, me mujhe jab mail aaya, toh kaam dekha, toh question aaya dimaag mein. Achha, kab tak karna hai ye? Pooch lete hai ek baar. Mail wapis dala, mail gaya, usne padha. Usne bhi kuch socha ki do bhez da karwa lete hai. Phir mujhe likha. We wasted 15 minutes in this transaction. And it was already 1.15 by the time I realized that I had to give something by 2 o'clock. Yeah. Now I can save my time or save this uh, table tennis of questions by being correct in my email at the very first place. Yeah. I have an example to show. But I'll do that once we are done with the rest of the C's. Are we okay with this complete part? Okay. What do you mean by courteous? Polite. Polite. Polite yes. Uh, be very friendly and soft in your emails or your writing. People should not uh, be put off uh, by when they read your email. They should not feel mujhe dominate kiya, mujhe direct kar diya, mujhe, you know, because writing is very dangerous. How many times uh, do you think, how many of us SMS messages? Yeah. Yes, you can raise your hand. I know we SMS. So younger generation uses a lot of SMSs. Older generation, not much SMS, but they talk. But what I'm trying to say here is, kitni bar aisa hota hai ki hum SMS karte hain, like written communication, and misunderstandings hoti hain, and people come back on messages mein ladai ho gayi. Fir baat nahi kiya. Baad mein pata chala to, acha, you meant that? I'm sorry. I thought you meant this. Now, when I say courteous, why am I talking about this example here? Because written communication is a very dangerous communication. It's a very simple one. Because some things that I can write, I can't say. Expressions. Expressions. It's easy for me to type a message and tell someone, okay, let's go for a movie, instead of calling him up and, or calling her up and telling her, let's go for a movie. I find it easy to SMS. Chalo, SMS chhod diya. Yeah. So the point is, I want to use written communication because it's easy for me, but writing that information is complex for me if I do not take care of few things like these. Yeah? So courteous becomes a very important C because if I don't use, be courteous, people are not going to read my emails with the same uh, interest. So, nahi hoga. Simrat ka mail aaya padte hain. Wapis mail aaya. Phir koi kaam bolenge. 
So that's the impression that you start forming. So, so that's why we say, please follow C as in courteous, be polite, be humble when you write an email. Yeah. Following, okay, so last C, conversational, interactive. Uh, management wala example pada tha humne? unwanted things. Yeah. So when we read that, it was two um, government authority coming in and telling me that I want to remove, eliminate unwanted vegetation around, in and around. Yeah. So it was not conversational. It was very directional. Conversational is like you and I talk. And that will come in when I use um, things like Mehek said, I don't understand. So I'm using double quotes. I'm using sentences where conversations happen, where I quote people, where instead of saying, I will be late, I write, I'll be late. I, apostrophe, double L, be late. So it's very conversational. It's very friendly. Yeah? Try to have a conversational tone in your writing. You can do that by using apostrophe now. Contraction apostrophe, where it sounds as if aap mere saamne se bol rahe ho. Yeah? Last, credible. Sorry? Reliable. Yes. Now, how does credibility come in? How does credibility come in? Credibility, how do I control it? Sorry? Sorry? By being candid, whatever we say is true. Yes. By, of course, um, so, so, the C is, comes over time. Aaj mujhe, uh, so, I've spent around three and a half years in work. Now, if I tell, uh, so let's say we both are planning a presentation. So let's take this example, NITTR coming here and doing a training program. When we were discussing as to what we need to do, what we not need to do, if I was suggesting something, or if he was suggesting something, our positions are such that we hold each other credible. So if I say, Manas, we'll do this this way. He says, okay, let, we, while we're doing th this way, I'll do this and you do this and etc. We plan. So I hold him credible for what he tells me. He holds me credible for what I tell him. Credibility will come over time. But why? How has this credibility grown? Because for over the last two years that we know each other, we have imparted correct information. We have imparted complete information. We have been courteous while we speak to each other, etc. Yeah? Transparency. Transparency, yes. So this credible part is the last C. Yeah, that's why I think you studied only 5C in college because that time you're still, it's a long way for us to build the credibility part. Yeah, that's why it's the last C. It will come over time. It will automatically come when this all is correct. But to start with, so let's say I'm writing the first email you. How do you think you're credible? It's clear, it's precise. Yeah, it's clear, it's precise. Right. Credible. Trust. And how will I trust? When I have data. Now, let me be very uh, open and candid here. In business, no one is yours. Yeah, corporate sector is totally bad in that case. Yeah. Human feelings are there only till things work out. Once things are not working out, human feelings take a back seat. They're not there at all. So when I'm doing my transaction for the first few times, so I will go back to the time when I uh, came in and then I got to know that there is someone who is Manas and I am going to work with him. That time, we were very uh, correct uh, with the kind of data that we used. So my emails had a lot of numbers, a lot of data, a lot of reports, a lot of uh, documents attached. You know, There will have to be proof. If I say, all right, I can take written communication for NITTR, I will actually show him the past. I will tell him. So I have done uh, 10 written communications for the past so and so places at so and so different colleges. Only then will he know that I am credible. If I come and tell him, let me do a written communications, I've done a written communication, I can take it over. He'll say, okay, can I know how? Have you done this in the past? So a lot of follow up hoga. So credible information, initially you have to prove your credibility by giving a lot of data. So factual data, if it is for correctness, it's also for credibility. Yeah, and of course, the kind of work that you do will gain you credibility over time. Are we okay with these seven C's? Everyone? So, very clearly, clear, concise, correct, complete, courteous, conversational, credible. You can write these down. C. Isko aap che C karlo, paan C karlo, as long as the meaning is clear, I'm okay. I don't mind if even if it's five C's, but as long as you can keep these things with you, you're good to go. Yeah? I want, uh, if you want, you can please note this down very quickly on your, on your notepad. Seven C's. Uh, clear. 
concise, correct, complete, courteous, conversational and credible. Let us do one example and then we will move into emails. Look at this example. Uh, I wanted to only see this first. We will come to this later. Okay. Check this. Give this report to Matthew. Accuracy here? Grammatically correct? Yeah? Uh, punctuation marks correct? Not ambiguous? Great. Is it brief? Brevity here? Short and sweet? Kiss principle? It's not complete. It's not complete. So it's not clear. Now how? Why do you think it's not clear? I'll come to this later. Why do you think this is not clear? Matter is not, object is not there. Report to matter. Which report? Which report is not there? Great. Or kya nahi hai? When to give nahi hai? Or kya nahi hai? When I say give this report, I've attached that report somewhere in the email. That's okay. We are okay. Theke? Report ka naam yaha pe lik sakti hu. Yes. To be more clear. Which is, clear, which is right. Absolutely correct. But let's say, assume karte hai, wo report saath mein attached hai. Cover letter attached hai when I send it. I can, no, no. Brevity ka. That's true. Brevity ka, yaha pe agar main naam yaha pe add kar dungi, I'm not violating the principle actually. Needless words है। ये हो सकता है। जब written में है तो वहाँ नाम देना जरूरी है। हो सकता है दो तीन reports in line हो। नहीं हो सकता तो कहाँ लिखा है इसमें दो तीन? बदल में आपको right hand देने तक तो वो clear है। Okay, let us pause. Let us pause. Let us. This sentence is absolutely correct. All that you are saying is true. So you, each one of you are right. Agar context thoda sa bhi idhar ho gaya. For example, if there's only one report, this sentence is absolutely correct. If there are there's one report and there's some there's another document. It might not be a report. It just might be a picture or a photo. So there are two attachments, right? Think there are two attachments. So when I say give this report, I just mention the word, the name of the attachment. Photo deni hai ki report deni hai. As as good as that. Okay. So contextual hai, but the sentence is as uh, this is good to go. In, in this case, right? One thing it's not complete as to when to give, whom to give. Is whom to give clear? Yes. 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 So, in San Ke Donam Hosakte, Do in San Now, again, it's contextual. If I know that this guy will go only to one Matthew, that's okay. But if I also see that there is some discrepancy, some confusion, then I know I have to be very clear. Yeah, let's say, check the second example now. With clear and courteous. Yeah, but please nahi tha. Ye order tha. To mujhe kis ne bole, give this report. To mujhe lagta hai, bhai, chalo, report dene jana hai. Check clear and courteous as now. Please give this report to Matthew from CCD. CCD is a, is a team in our company who, can, who takes care of the uh, computer department. So if my computer crashes, I call CCD and these guys will come and help us. It's a computer help desk. Okay. Oh, you thought it's a cafe coffee day. Okay. Great. Now, this is another point now. If I'm writing this email to Monica, who is unaware of Infosys at all, I will not write CCD. I will write computers and communications division so that she does not go to CCD and give report to them. Then she goes to CCD and says, Matthew here. No, ma'am, we don't have Matthew here. I'm supposed to give a report. No, ma'am, we sell coffee. We don't have reports at all. <laughs> what kind of report are you looking for? And then she calls me. Simrat, I spent 22 hours in driving to CCD and I found out that there's no Matthew. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought Infos is CCD. And then I apologize. So, wasted a lot of time there. Okay, coming back. Now, Please give this report to Matthew from CCD. If I'm writing this to Monica, I'll make sure I will do not write CCD as in. Uh, now, this is a, uh, I'll pause here. This is a case study, actually. Our employees, when I do this for my employee training, now when our employees write to our clients who are sitting in the US, who do not know that CCD is a computer help desk in Infosys, they tell them that, I'm sorry, I will look into the issue tomorrow. My system is not working today. That The CCD is fixing them. The client came back just like Monica and said, wow, coffee guys are great. They help you with your computers. And this is, actually, this is trust me, this is an actual case study. Uh, that employee was very friendly with the client, so they actually did, did it on a call. Yeah? And this guy says, hey, your coffee guys are great. And he laughed. No, it's, it's our computer help desk. It was a very normal interaction. 
बट अगर ये इंटरेक्शन पहले हुआ होता जब मैं क्लाइंट को इतना जानती नहीं हूँ कि मैं फ़ोन पे उनसे बात कर सकूँ देन क्रेडिबिलिटी मेरी एकदम ख़त्म हो जाती है इमीडिएटली कॉफ़ी ओ इट वॉज नॉट कॉफ़ी आई थॉट सी सीरीज अ कॉफ़ी ब्रांड इन्फॉर्मेशन एक्सचेंज इज डिफरेंट सो वेन वी नो ईच अदर वी कैन you know uh, dispense with lot of things we we ignore lot of things but when we are very new then credibility is at stake so we need to take care of that yeah now come back now clear and complete abhi bhi complete nahi tha so few c's were taken care of clear tha courteous tha complete nahi tha complete karo please give this report to matthew from ccd by 5 pm tomorrow to be put up on the bb BB is a bulletin board. Just that's that's how we use it. Yeah, it's a, it's a common area, common board for people to read. Notice board kind of a thing. Now just think. अभी यहाँ पे question आ सकता है कि ये BB क्यों लिखा? मतलब ये information क्यों add किया? Needless है. Brevity principle को हम शायद anyone has a question that this is an extra information that we're giving here. So what is the purpose of this phrase? Yes, yes. Credibility will come from here. Importance. मैं आपको motivate कर रही हूँ कि आप ये काम आज पांच बजे तक कर देना. क्यों? So that Matthew can put it on the notice board. So I will know the criticality of this. If you don't motivate me in your writing, I would think पांच का अगर सवा पांच हो गया तो भी ठीक है. साढ़े पांच हो गया तो भी ठीक है. So it was not very urgent. मैं अपने मन में सोचूँगी अगर urgent होता तो पहले ही बोल देते. नहीं है तो इट्स ओके आई कैन टेक माई ओन स्वीट टाइम सिक्स ओ क्लॉक और अगर इन केस नहीं होता है तो टुमारो मॉर्निंग आई एल गिव इट टू मैथ्यू इट्स ओके एंड मैथ्यू थिंक ओ आई हैव टू पुट इट ऑन बी बी हाउ विल आई डू इट राइट नाउ एंड देन आई सेम सॉरी होता है यस विधानसभा में प्रश्न उठना है उनको कैसे पता चलेगा कि ये इंपॉर्टेंट काम है क्रेडिबिलिटी आ जाएगी इट विल टेल यू दैट सिमरत इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल मैथ्यू का काम है बट सिमरत को ज्यादा फिक्र है कि मैथ्यू वो चीज बीबी पे डाल दे क्रेडिबिलिटी एनी क्वेश्चन फॉर दिस डिड वी अंडरस्टैंड दिस एग्जाम्पल या सो जस्ट डोंट कट नीडलेस वर्ड्स बिकॉज यू थिंक दिस इज ओके कट देम तभी जब तक सेवन सीज यूज हो रहे हैं दिस इज एप्सोलूटली ब्रीफ एप्सोलूटली कंप्लीट एप्सोलूटली एक्यूरेट एनी क्वेश्चन So coming back, please remember seven C's: clear, concise, correct, complete, courteous, conversational, credible. Yeah? Can we move forward now? Are we done with A, B, C? A for accuracy. B for C for clarity. Our clarity, ma'am, what are we doing? Seven C's. Yeah, just remember these few words. All right. This is a recap. writing is an integral part of it world i i'm sorry i brought an it world because i come from it industry but yeah writing has become very important these days across even our uh, hospitality our hotels they all use emails to exchange the the proposals and they crack a deal on emails follow the abc of writing accuracy brevity clarity use kiss for brevity use seven c's for clarity and use correct grammar and non ambiguity for accuracy any questions